80,000 subscribers. That's what we just hit on the channel and I still can't quite get my head around it because it's such a huge number. I didn't do anything for 60 or 70,000, but I think that 80,000 is sort of a well-rounded number to, to make a video for. So I wanted to make this sort of lock episode uh, in a slightly different way than my 50,000 subscriber video. Um, now, uh, quite a lot of things has happened since 50,000 because if you go back and see that episode, uh, I'll go ahead and link in the description, you'll notice that we don't live here. And if you've been a long follow on the channel, you'll know that we've been uh, having quite a hectic and unstable life regarding the place we live at. So quite a lot of things happened regarding our living situation since 50,000 subscribers. So uh, what I want to do in this episode is I would like to take the chance to explain where we live and just to sort of show you around my office where I do actually produce uh, videos and that sort of thing for MM Toots. So um, before I do that, there's something I have to address, which is uh, the fact that some people might go in the comments of this video and ask why do you live in a house because if you uh, have been following me a bit here and there you'll know that right now we live in a house and it is not something that i i've been trying to avoid talking about the place we live at because it's sort of a sensitive subject and i don't want to hurt anyone's feelings talking about it so i waited until now to talk about our new place which is 80,000 is a good number to talk about that for in the video. And the only reason I'm talking about it is because all of you guys have been pulled into my unstable moving around life because of me. And I think you deserve a chance to know uh, what happened to us and why we live here because of me. So the basics is that, and I have to sort of take it from this angle here because otherwise you can't fully understand why we live here. Now, when my girlfriend grew up, she had two people taking care of her. She had her granddad and her godfather. These were the two people who raised her, took care of her, made sure she is where she is today. So these are people that I'm really grateful for having in her life and my life as well. Uh, what happened was about three months ago, uh, one of them got deadly sick and he's been sick for quite a long time, but it hasn't been as bad as it was three months ago. So what we did was we went ahead and took care of him. It, it's the godfather, by the way. Uh, we went to his place, which is this place, took care of him. And after about two weeks of being sick, he passed away. It was a really devastating hit on my girlfriends, which is why this is sort of a sensitive thing to talk about. Uh, it's not something I just want to talk about openly before time has passed. And it is something that I feel should be talked about. Um, what happened was because we took care of him and we didn't live in the camp anymore, we went from the camper to his place to take care of him. Um, we were allowed to stay here while they had to find out what needed to happen to the house. Uh, we had to sort of take care of it to make sure that family members didn't try to come here and just sort of take stuff from it. Uh, so we were sort of like guarding the house. Um, after about, I don't know how long, after a while we found out through his will and testament that he left the house for my girlfriend and all his possessions meaning that right now we live in a house and i know there's going to be people talking about the fact that it's more expensive to live in a house well it is until you paid it off and that's what sort of happened here because we inherited it or my girlfriend did um so right now the house is basically the same as living in a apartment. So um, if anyone have any sort of criticism about the financial aspect of us living in a house, uh, just know that it's not of anyone's business because we know how to take care of it. We don't, we're not staying at a place we can't afford. Everything is fine. So <laughs> just had to throw that out there because I know there might be people who are insensitive about this sort of thing. So. Now that I talked about that, we can start talking about the fact that I have a new place to record videos. And I want to do sort of a, you know, show around thing. Um, <laughs> I just want to point out, I didn't clean the place. I, this area you see behind me is always clean because that's what you see in video. Everything else is outside the camera's view and is where I put my things. <laughs> so. Now, before I take the camera and start moving it around to show you my office, I do want to point one more thing out, which is I'm 
hugely grateful for all the support all of you have given me on this channel because I went from living in the camper and that was before Patreon. I earned just enough for us to stay at the camper that we were at and a lot of you suggested that we open up a Patreon for you to support me or and also a place for me to sort of sell off my lesson material instead of giving it away for free in the comments of my videos. We earn enough now to just manage to live in an apartment, essentially. So I'm really glad that I got all the support from all of you. I didn't want to jump out into Patreon because I was very hesitant about it. Uh, because I have been giving away my materials for free for a long time. I have this philosophy that what I teach should be free. And that's why I went on YouTube and I know a lot of you talk about Udemy. I know it's a place you can go, but it costs money to take courses on Udemy. I don't want to charge for my courses. I know it's a bad business plan. I know it's not something that financially is going to uh, support me in any sort of way, but that's the way I want to do it because I know how it's like to be in school or I know how it's like to not afford going to school and needing to go elsewhere in order, in order to... <laughs> I'm sort of messing up my words here. It sucks not having a place to go to learn something for free. And I want to give away my material for free. So Udemy and that sort of thing is not a place I want to go. Now I do from time to time receive messages either by email or in the comments of people explaining to me how watching my lessons sort of changed their living situation because they come from not as wealthy countries as I do. And because of my lessons, they were able to take the skills and do something with it, whether it being assisting with already uh, ongoing learning they were doing in the countries or if they didn't know anything about web development and then they watched my lessons and now they could actually do projects on their own. So that's the sort of thing that really motivates me in order to do these sort of lessons and to keep producing free content. Like I said, not paid content, but free content, um, even if it has to uh, sort of hurt my own financial situation because I know I'm doing something good for the world and I want to keep doing it. So. <laughs> I'm sort of getting off track here, but I just want to say thank you for all the people supporting me on YouTube as well on Patreon. And you might have seen some of my, you know, after the lessons are done, I have this Patreon pop up at the end of my videos that says a special thanks to certain people on Patreon. And I just want to point out, even though that is a thing at the end of my videos, I am hugely grateful for the people who are supporting me on Patreon, but doesn't get to show in the videos afterwards. I'm so glad the people are supporting me and I couldn't have done this without you. So thank you. So I think it's about time to show you where I do actually do my work. So uh, right now I do actually have a new webcam that again, I could afford because of support from all of you. I didn't do face cams before. I did have a, a decent webcam, but I wanted to have a good webcam since my channel is nearing the 100,000 subscriber mark, which is a huge goal I have. Uh, I'm going to have a play button. It's going to be displayed somewhere around right behind here, <laughs> just because I think it's so cool to get a play button. But what I want to do is I want to take my camera and I want to sort of point it around and show you where I do my work. And it is attached to my computer because it's a webcam. It's a really good webcam. Um, and I just want to sort of take it around. So, um, just gonna see if I can slide it out here. Okay, it took a bit of tingling with, and I'm sorry if you're gonna get motion sick from me moving around the camera. Um, so what you can see here is the backdrop of my office. This is what you see in the videos. I just got these, which are chili plants. And you may remember my 50,000 subscriber video where I ate chili dressing or chili sauce, or what you might call it. This one, if I can get my hands to stop shaking, it's called the Caroline Reaper, the strongest chili in the world. I am so proud to have found these. It is not something you usually find here in the country at all. You have to order from outside the country. So I'm so glad that I found them. And as you can see, this is actually my office, just sliding back here. And you probably can't hear me because I'm, I'm away from the microphone. Um, I do have this new desk I got from Ikea. Uh, we got it a little bit after we moved in here. I have one monitor over here I spent for uh, my recording software when I do record my episodes. And this is an old screen I had from before moving into the camper, so I couldn't really use it when we moved into the camper. It was just sort of in storage. Uh, this screen I also got from before when I had a real job. 
Um, and that's what I'm using to uh, have all my notes on while I record. And then this laptop over here is what I bought while we lived in the camper. Because when you live in a camper, you can't have a stationary because you pull off too much electricity and the people at the camper spot, uh, they're going to get mad at you for spending too much of the electricity. So I had to get a laptop. And then I have my microphone, which has been through me, uh, with me throughout this entire YouTube career, almost, not in the complete beginning of it. And then I have this keyboard. This is one I bought because when I pounded away at my other keyboard, which is a L, like a, what do you call it, RGB lighted, uh, blinking rainbow colored keyboard with mechanical switches. I had to switch it out for this keyboard because this one doesn't make sounds when I click it. So now you can't hear as much when I do click on the, on the keyboard, which is better, I think. Um, so this is my office where I sit and work. And as you can see, I have two lights uh, to shine on my face. I really want to have a ring light in front of me that could be somewhere around here. So my face is going to not have any sort of shadows on it because it's much better for better quality when you sit and record. So a ring light is really something I want to save up for once we do have the money for it. So uh, just sort of waiting around for that. Geek corner where I have all my geeky things. Uh, this is the shelf that I again bought from Ikea. Uh, there's not quite anything on it yet except for figurines and a small, what do you call, prize from my girlfriend. It says, you are a winner to me, <laughs> which I keep up there. And the Death Star plans, or what do you call it? A uh, lighting thing that my girlfriend also bought me the first Christmas we uh, were together, which is about two years ago. Uh, so I'm really happy about that one too. Um, so I just want to sort of point around the rest of the room. Um, I have a green screen or a blue screen. There's a green color on the other side because I used to do multimedia design and I used a green screen in order to do some cool effects for that. I got sound isolation or what do you call it, sound padding in order to make the sound better in here so it doesn't echo as much. I'm really happy about that because I used to have that before we moved into the camper. And here's my messy corner with a lot of messy things. If you wonder about the cage, I do have three dogs living with me and my girlfriend. Uh, one of them is actually right here. Frida? She just had a haircut, so she's really, really cute right now. Um, she is my original dog before, uh, my original dog before moving in with my girlfriends. And she's so sweet and caring. And she's just like a little, like clump of gold. Um, then we have my girlfriend's dog, Bella. She's not here. Uh, she is with my girlfriend in the living room right now. And then we have Bessie, which is the new dog, who is a, um, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? An English bulldog. So it's a really big dog and we're not used to having big dogs. So it's, it's quite a bit of a change from something like, like her. Um, now, if anyone's asking about the books I have in my window, the one in the furthest back is called The Straight Lead. It is from a time when I was obsessed with doing martial arts. And I did it while I lived in the US for about three and a half years. Uh, I did it again when I moved back from the US. And while I lived there, I did actually get to study under uh, one of the key people that Bruce Lee taught uh, back in the day. And I was so proud to have been moving to a country where I could actually do that. So uh, the straight lead is actually a gift I got from my instructor before moving back to Denmark. And it's something that I keep here just as a keepsake because it meant a lot to me back then and it still does today. Uh, the furthest book in the front is called The Alchemist, which is one of the books that sort of changed my life because it is, I don't really read books, but this specific book is great if you want to follow your dream. And it's one of the inspirations I had from doing YouTube. So it's something I really recommend that you, you read if you get the chance. Um, so besides this, this is actually my office and we do have many more rooms inside uh, the house. Let's probably not have it from that angle. Which angle is better? This one? This one? <laughs> I'm not a very good vlogger as you can see. This is the best angle I can get, uh, at least from holding the camera. So um, we do have a house and I do not wish to show the rest of the house because it's not clean. And my girlfriend is sleeping right now. She's taking an afternoon nap and I don't want to wake her up. So this is what you get to see today. I am so glad to have all of you supporting me and I do wish that uh, I 
I keep providing content that you want to have on my channel. Now, I do want to point out as well that I do read every single comment I get on the channel. I might not respond to about 80% of them because I get so many comments and I, I do see them. If I have time for it and I can quickly answer them, I will do that. Um, the best way to get in, in contact with me is in the, in the comment section of my channel. If there's any kind of business inquiries, the best way to contact me is on my email, which is also posted on my channel. If you go to the channel page and inside the about tab, you can see it there. And do keep out for or keep an eye out for the community tab on my channel because I do sometimes post if I have missing uploads or if I have some kind of excuse for not uploading at some point, then it's going to be in the community tab. And I do sometimes post pictures as well. I think I might have posted one picture, but I will do more pictures in the future. So, so I hope you had a good day and I hope you continue to have a good day and I hope to see you here again when we hit 100,000 subscribers on the channel. So thank you.